Nazarene University ASB has rejected a Turning Point USA chapter on campus. Joining us to discuss this decision is Turning Point USA contributor Jordan Rachel. You can follow Jordan on Twitter at the Jordan Rachel. I believe 175,000 Twitter followers strong. Uh, welcome to KUSI. Welcome back. Hi, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Well, I'm holding in my hands the article you authored about the decision by Point Loma Nazarene. Would you like to give us the cliff notes, please? Sure. So last week I received an email with a story that Point Loma University, a so-called Christian university, will not allow a Turning Point USA chapter on their campus. Apparently, it only took one person on the student body leadership team to shut down the entire process of starting this chapter with no appeal allowed. So this tells me that one person represents the views of the entire leadership team, which ultimately represents the entire student body. And the reason they gave for denying the chapter is that Turning Point USA promotes problematic rhetoric, which of course is very vague. And I happen to personally interpret that vague reasoning to signify that their belief is actually in leftist ideology, which in all actuality is the real problematic rhetoric, especially for those of the Christian faith. Well, I always thought campuses were supposed to be the exchange of ideas, the civil exchange of ideas. What is it about Turning Point that isn't civil? Well, there's nothing about Turning Point that's not civil, I don't think, but um, the one student who is a leading figure in starting this Turning Point USA chapter said she actually got over 100 students to say that they are eager to engage in civil dialogue. And this, of course, includes people who don't agree with one another. Um, one of the reasons our country is good is because we have discourse. It's no secret that our political climate is not great right now, but we're still able to talk about our differences of opinion. We have the ability to do that as free speech still stands. Well, can you cite any examples of Turning Point USA shouting down speakers on campus or protesting and breaking things? Is there any examples of that involving Turning Point USA chapter members that might make a campus nervous? No, absolutely not. Because it's and I, I'll add that there are people who actually choose to attend this university to get away from the public universities who have that culture on their campus, who are indoctrinating their kids with a pro-Marxist and anti-American view on the world taught by leftist professors and administrators, which fuels the students there to actually engage with, in what you just asked me if Turning Point is doing, which we're not, we're fighting against that. So if this university advertises themselves as a Christian university, that means they're grounding the entire university in the Christian faith and therefore they need to be an actual institution for people who are looking for clarity and biblical truth in a very politically loud time for our country, not a bait and switch university. Well, the ASB Students Relations Director, Jenna Moses, in, in your view, in your article, you said this was her decision and her decision alone backed by her supervisor, Scott McGowan. Any chance that perhaps on, on, upon further review that decision might be reversed? No, um, I did ask them and they said that you should probably wait until they have a new ASB leader. Uh, so I guess that she is influential in a lot of different aspects. But I will add that a former student and uh, graduate from Point Loma actually left a comment on my article that I wrote on my TPUSA live feed and said she is familiar with the culture of bullying mocking and harassing conservatives on that campus. Well, I'm gonna reach out to Jenna Moses and Scott McGowan, to see, see if they wanna one day come on the air and voice their, uh, give them their counter argument. But in the meantime, I wanna thank you, Jordan, for making time for KUSI once again. You're very generous with us and we appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. You can follow uh, Jordan, she's a multimedia star. She's got more followers than uh, than you can imagine, but she's closing in on 175,000 Twitter followers alone. So she's, she's mega multimedia.